Hi, Alex. Hello. Uh, thanks for coming. <laughs> uh, I'm Harry Peacock. This is Alex Kingston. Pleasure to be here. How do you feel when you start working for Big Finish Productions? Um, well, I guess it's probably the same as when I first started working on Doctor Who, mm -hmm. which is I thought that I was just going to maybe do one uh, story episode. In fact, it's been now sort of years and and the whole the whole. Uh, journey of River Songs morphed into adventures that she has with various doctors mm -hmm. but also she's got her own sort of diary series so it's um it's the gift that keeps on giving Brilliant. if you could choose your top three wishes for River Song on Big Finish e.g character meetup setting writers what would they be personally I can't wait for River to meet the ninth doctor Oh, so. yes, I haven't done any Big Finish with him okay. um so I think he's just starting to come on board with this all of these sort of the continuation of the journey with audio stories so I'm sure that that will happen at some point without without question well no spoilers here but um, certainly this episode that we're currently recording mm -hmm. um, offers an opportunity for yet another spin-off potentially yes it does yes so, um, proper Dave, who was always yes, coming back. Proper Dave was always coming so back. So much charisma. And and, yeah. um, and let's see if the the listeners, our fans, spot what that spin-off potential might be. Yeah. Who's one historical figure you'd love for River to meet up or come up against? That's quite cool. Uh, well, there was a historical figure that um, I actually um, have always kind of somewhat been obsessed by, which uh, uh, I brought into um, the um, novel, which was brought out last year, um, which was the character of uh, Cleopatra. Um, oh, nice. And uh, she absolutely, I'm fascinated by her and mm -hmm. sort of what ended up really happening to her and her son, Cesarian. Um that aside, um, well, there's always Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Napoleon? Yeah, tall. Napoleon. Napoleon. Mm. Yeah, but Napoleon, he I'm not sure whether he's a lover or hater. Mm. So, um, I, I, yeah, no, I think I'd like to go sort of way back. Right. What was the main difference you felt between acting only on audio and acting on screen? Back in the day when we were sort of both starting out in the business and doing telly, stuff like that, did you find that there was more room for having a laugh? To be honest, I've always found joy, <laughs> but yeah, I probably, yeah. And yeah, things have got I, very serious in television now. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, you you yeah. in, you don't dare make a mistake because you're aware of time and time that's is money true. and if stuff. It's the end of the day, that's true. And yeah. I I certainly when I first started out, there seemed to always be room, a little bit of room for if something went wrong, it was like, oh well, that's okay because that'll go onto the gag reel or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. um and and um, uh, but that really doesn't happen anymore. Everything's no. very very serious, yeah, which. Yeah. Yeah. Is a shame, but I feel here um, that's where I mean we have a laugh, yeah, don't yeah. we? No, absolutely. Um, uh, and uh, uh, there's a lot that um, the uh, listeners to the audio, I think, don't even realise that mm. it's been recorded because it's pretty. And it seems like some of the tone of it, obviously, it's it's high octane and it's exciting, but there is yeah. also it's quite funny and a bit tongue in cheek. Some of it, yeah, it? you know, yes. So. In the last episode filmed with Peter Capaldi at the Singing Towers of Derillium, emotions seemed to be running high. There were tears. So were those real tears? And if so, are they as real as mine? Loved sobbing through every second of it. So... Oh, was it quite... it, no, it was very emotional, actually. Because it was yeah. not working with someone you've been working with for a long time? Or, it, it, or, or, was, or... it was because, I mean, I'm so, I, I have such affection for this character. And, um, I, I, you know, I, I, I sort of, I don't want it to ever stop. And no. even though in the episode that we shot together, the two mm. episodes, uh, sh the character of River died, and I thought that was the mm. end of it, because... Um, uh, Stephen Moffat had a very different idea about her future. 
it within the the show. Um, it's just been a joy to do. Mm. And so doing an episode where she comes to that moment where she realises this is the end, potentially, and she's going off to to um, help the doctor out by going to um, the library uh, is sort of like it's come full circle. And so um, it was very emotional for me mm. because I knew what was coming. And also it was emotional. Peter got emotional and that may then made me emotional because That's I thought, right. Peter Capaldi never cries. Yeah, it's such a massive commitment. Isn't yeah. It? You know, a big part of your life. Yeah, it? yeah. Uh, what is your favourite song of all time? Oh, <laughs> that is so Happy, hard. How can one even? What's Impossible. your favourite song of all time? Do you have one? Oh, God, I don't know. Superstition? I don't know. Do you? Is that well, your favourite well, no, no, I mean, but, but <laughs> if I had to put one out. No, know. I don't have a favourite no. song of Who all does? time. Yeah. I can't. No. There's just too many. What is your favourite thing about the Doctor? Well, I don't think I can say on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Right, since it's a video and I might actually be able to see it, I would love her to say something in German because I want to know if it's actually true that she can speak German. Natürlich kann ich Deutsch sprechen. Also, meine Mutter war Deutsch, uh, ja, mein, mein Tochter spricht Deutsch. Ja, ich kann Deutsch sprechen, also wo bist du jetzt? Point hm? proven. In welcher Stadt bist du? Welcher Stadt wohnst du? Vielleicht kann ich dich besuchen oder euch besuchen. Seid ihr zwei Personen? Weiß ich nicht. <lacht> Danke. <lacht> If you could fight any monster from Doctor Who in a Tesco parking lot, which monster would it be and why? I guess it would have to be... Oh, what are they called? Was it Vasta Narada in the No, one? no, no, it's the silence. Oh. Because then I'd forget that I'd seen them. What is your favourite book from your childhood? No, I used to love Winnie the Pooh. Um, I used to... I used to actually really love, um, like, just nursery rhymes because um, I used to sing them to myself. And I used to love all of the Hans Christian Andersen fa um, fairy mm -hmm. tales and um, the Brothers Grimm. Brüder Grimm! Again, a German... Um, German, Germans, yeah. So, yeah. so um, and uh, and I used to have the real, the real Grimm's fairy tales, not the sort of Disney-fied versions. No, Frozen so. apparently is a Brothers Grimm story. Is it? it? Yeah, oh, it's I one of the lesser-known ones. Oh, I didn't Spanish, know that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which of River's gadgets would you most like to own in real life? Well, that's actually quite tough because I do like gardening and so a sonic trowel could come trowel. could actually come in really mm. handy. Um, but then at the same time, I like a vortex manipulator every now and again. Who doesn't? <laughs> right. Who was a better kisser, Matt Smith or David Tennant? Who was the better kisser? Spoilers. 